This is Lex. I haven't been feeling well for a little over a week. Over there is Rite Aid. I'm gonna pick up some antibiotics. And why am I doing that? Because you gotta do what you gotta do. You wanna get better? Take the medicine if you need it. If you wanna get better in admissions, you got to use the medicine in admissions. It's gonna help you get better. And what is some of the main medicine in admissions? The phone strips. And you gotta take it as the doctor ordered. So Lexington here, the doctor of admissions, orders you, if you so choose to accept your mission, to use a script, like use the false Luke. Use a script and practice and role play that script. You will get better. Scripts help. And over here, go pick up my antibiotics now. It is cold out. <sighs> you see my breath. I'll see you in a minute. And I am in Whole Foods right now. And why do I have a hat on? Because I've been recovering some some type of cold or maybe a sinus infection. Just got my handy antibiotics a few minutes ago. It's been over a week since I wasn't feeling well. And I wanted to, however, connect with you today because when we're sick, as you just saw in my previous clip there, when we're sick, we got to do what we got to do. And it's so important to develop discipline. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. However, you do what you got to do to get better. And when it comes to admissions and any anything in our life, we need to do what we got to do to get better with what we do. Now, I took my medicine, for example. I'm also eating some super healthy food here. I don't know if you can see this. I've got some eggs and some, uh, I think it's yeah, butternut squash. I've got some sprouted pumpkin seeds. I've got some delicious sprouted walnuts. And what I want to share is the importance of discipline and using a script. So many people don't want to use a script. And I can do with a million videos on the importance of using a script. The biggest pushback that I hear when I start to train an admissions team is some one or a couple people will say, oh, but Lexington, I don't want to sound scripted. So I tell them, well, don't sound scripted then. I don't know, but if I use a script, I'm going to sound scripted. No, that is such an incredibly wrong, untruthful, distorted myth. It's not true. And I can prove it to you. How can I prove it to you? Do you have a favorite actor or actress? You probably do. I do. And I would say, uh, I love Tom Cruise, and I also love Anthony Hopkins. And they all use scripts, every one of them. They don't say, hey, I'm a movie star. I'm gonna just make up whatever the heck I'm gonna make up. They use a script. They are paid, trained, paid people who use scripts for a living. And the reason they don't sound scripted is because they practice and role play that script constantly. You see, a lot of people don't want to use scripts. You know the real truth? Not because they don't want to sound robotic, but because it takes hard work to use a script. It takes discipline because you need to start using a different method than you are used to using and it comes easy to you. Just because something comes easy to you doesn't mean it's the most effective method. Tiger Woods, possibly one of the greatest golfers in the history of our good planet Earth, in his prime, he changed, he completely changed his grip. Many people said, you're nuts, man. You're just, you're just awesome. You're freaking awesome. Why would you do that? The reason is as great as he was, he knew he could be greater. He changed his grip. It took him a long time and a lot of practice to create this brand new habit that became his new grip. However, was he satisfied? No, at some point he changed his grip again. So I'm asking you to change your grip or really like let go of the grip you have on your script. Let go of the grip you have on your script. Let go of the grip you have on your script. Say that 10 times fast. That would be a good tongue exercise. More specifically, let go of the grip 
you have on your inner script, because you use a script, it's just not written down. Let go of the grip on that script and be open to using an effective script, one that has been tried, tested, and highly effective. If you'd like to get a great script, call me, text me, email me. I will give you that great script. In The Art of Admissions, we also have an appointment setting division where we make millions and millions of calls every year to prospective students from the different schools and colleges and career colleges that we work with. That script is constantly tested and tested and A-B tested. I'm happy to share the script for you for free. Call me. I believe in you. You gotta be open to changing and growing and you can become extraordinary which means you're gonna help even more people to take action on their dreams. This is Lexington Maximus. I'll see you next time.